I couldn't believe it, you know. Uh, growing up in, in school, you're always taught that Canada is a pillar of democracy and freedom in Canada. That we should be proud to be Canadian. I'm so proud to be Canadian, by the way. Who here is proud to be Canadian? <laughs> so, the fact that we're having second-class citizenry in a first-world democracy is its insanity. And with the mainstream media and frankly what they're teaching to us in school and in university there's a lot of people that want to talk about I don't know like uh, systemic discrimination or um, stuff like that and, and you know what that is absolutely real and prevalent and I don't disagree with that however we're having a prime example of division and oppression of authoritarianism and corruption and, and frankly discrimination in Canada yet only 10% of the country wants to talk about it so I personally after losing my friend and getting kicked out of university I really felt like I was at the end of my road and I was I was suicidal and I, I actually went to the University of Ottawa and um, I had an apartment there because I went out to the University of Ottawa once and it was all online, which was kind of hard because, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm an extroverted kind of person. But after I lost everything and I was so suicidal, I, I, I came back to Toronto where my parents lived and I started hearing these rumblings about the Freedom Convoy. And I'm like, well, that's quite an intriguing kind of interesting concept. Um, and I saw these videos of these trucks rolling across the country going through these small towns um, And I'm like wow, that's that's quite interesting. So I went out to the the 401 uh, 